this is Sidarctic back with you with Paracrew. Today we are going to be taking a look at the beta build of Firefox OS or Boot Gecko OS for the Sony Xperia Z3, which we have over here. When we open up the phone, we are greeted with the Boot to Gecko logo, which is actually a boot and a couple of geckos. This build is provided by the FXP team, which I have the link in the description in case any one of you is interested in taking a look at the build, which is currently in a rather beta phase. Uh, it has some minor bugs, still kind of laggy, and uh, it has some issues with the radio. So cellular connections can be really buggy. Like for example, I made a phone call earlier and the phone uh, sh immediately shut down after it. Uh, vibration is working, pretty much everything is working except from uh, the radio and the camera. I don't know if some of the sensors also work, I haven't extendedly tested it. So here we are, we are booted up and we're into the Gaia UI, which is uh, the main menu of Firefox OS, which you guys can also test out without installing uh, Firefox OS for by using the Firefox OS 2.5 uh, APK, which Mozilla provides, I also have that in the description. You just install it and it replaces your launcher. So once we are inside, we have all the pre-installed apps, which include phone, messages, contacts, email, browser, uh, gallery, camera, marketplace, clock, settings, customizer, hackerspace, studio, sharing, webmaker, Bugzilla Lite, calendar, music, video, Facebook, Twitter, uh, run WhatsApp, Buddy Up, Fox Fooding, Usage, Notes, Calculator, Swoop, Moz Speech, and Fire C IRC. I installed the camera, which you see over here, but apparently it doesn't work. Uh, I'm guessing there's some sort of issue with the camera sources. So whenever you try to open up a camera app, it gives you this message. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys saw it, like a second ago, there was this graphic glitch on the screen, which is a real deal breaker for me. It's kind of... Uh, weird when you open up the phone the ui is kind of laggy i don't know if uh, if you can if you guys can see that on the on the video but it is usable and i'm really looking forward for it to becoming bug bug free and actually kind of more smooth so uh, let me show you around guys the whole ui this is the phone app this is the messages uh, these are the contacts uh, we got the email app, which uh, I haven't really used yet. We got the browser, which is probably Firefox, uh, but in this beta build, it's labeled as just browser. We got the gallery app, which uh, pretty much loads all the photos from your phone. Works perfectly fine with me. We got the clock, we got the settings. Let me tour you around settings. They are pretty much like uh, the Android settings, if you ask me. So there's nothing special. So, oh, let me just uh, show you guys that I am actually running Firefox OS on the Xperia Z3. There you go. Device information. We got an Xperia Z3 on the boot to Gecko project. Um, that's pretty much it about the settings. Anyways, we got this hackerspace, which I'm guessing is like a Cydia for the iPhone. It just installs add-ons uh, of a sort. I don't know if these are approved by Mozilla or something or if they're community made. Uh, we have the WebMaker, which is Mozilla's app. Where you can find it on Android as well, I believe. Uh, Bugzilla Lite is for reporting bugs. You got the calendar, which I'll show you right now. You got the music app. I don't know if it will load my music. I haven't tried it. Oh, my music got erased. Uh, I have no videos. Apparently, you've got the Facebook app, which is pretty much a web app. Oh, everything you see pretty much here is an HTML5 coded web app. That's the whole scheme that Firefox OS is designed to work with. So this is pretty much it my, on my review of Firefox OS on the Xperia Z3. Uh, I just hope for it to become more bug free and more fluid and less laggy and this really bugging uh, screen flickering to go away. Other than that, the ROM is perfectly ready to use and everything is working fine over here. Uh, if, you, if you guys want to check out the project, I have the link in the description, as I said before. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video.